pass me another four hours. Folks, I'm Phil Robertson, and I hunt ducks for a living. I have a God-given right to pursue happiness. My idea of happiness is killing things, skinning them, plucking them, have a big meal, all your children, your grandchildren gather around, and we eat that. Yuppie girls wouldn't like it. Don't marry some yuppie girl. Find you a meek, gentle, kind-spirited country girl. If she knows how to cook, and she carries her Bible and lives by it, and she loves to eat bullfrogs, now there's a woman. See, the first prerequisite for marrying a woman, can she cook? And if that doesn't stack up, adios amigos. And she doesn't have to be a pretty girl. It's hard to get a pretty one to cook and carry a Bible anymore. You're gonna be there for 50 years and you don't even know whether she can cook or not? What kind of thinking is that? Well, we'll just live off love. Not really, you'll starve to death. All right, so uh, uh, some family funny business, uh, but uh, Phil Robertson, uh, the purveyor of, of that kind of down-home Louisiana-style Cajun wisdom that's coupled with, uh, I don't know, a biblical worldview and uh, just the basic uh, idea that, you know, you should have respect for one another and so forth, you know, really controversial things like that. Uh, but he has been removed uh, from uh, any filming with the, uh, with the uh, next uh, episodes of... Uh, um, uh, Duck Dynasty, and uh, this this just came to light last night. Social media went berserk. I've never seen anything uh, take off like this did last night. Literally a half million people signing up on uh, I support Phil pages within a matter of uh, of hours. Um, 888-589-8840. That's my phone number. By the way, two more phone numbers I want to give to you. I've given you the I've given you the uh, A and E phone numbers, uh, and and those are still. Uh, important and you need to call them. Um, 212-210-9007 is one of them. 212-210-1400 is the other. Uh, But there are a couple of other phone numbers and they are the primary sponsors of Duck Dynasty. And one of them is the Walmart corporate office. Uh, Walmart spending money on A&E, paying A&E to put Duck Dynasty on the air. And it would be important, particularly since Walmart sells much of the Duck Dynasty memorabilia, it would be very, very important for Walmart to hear from Duck Dynasty uh, people, uh, people that support Phil, people that have an opinion about this. And that number for the uh, Walmart home office is 479-273-4000. Uh, 479-273-4000. Uh, 479-273-4000. Now, the other primary sponsor of the uh, Duck Dynasty, and you can see their ad on the uh, Duck Dynasty homepage, is uh, Jeep, um, which is, uh, I guess, a product of uh, the Dodge Corporation, but Jeep themselves are the ones that uh, that uh, sponsor the show. And the number for their corporate office is 877-426-5337. So the number for Jeep is 877-426-5337, 877-426-5337. The number for Walmart is 479-273-4000, 479-273-4000. That's the Walmart phone number. Uh, the Jeep phone number is 877-426-5337. And then, of course, the number for a and E is two one two two one zero nine zero zero seven or two one two two one zero fourteen hundred. All right, uh, want to get back to uh, your calls because some of you have been calling, but it's important to call the sponsors as well as the network themselves uh, to help uh, impress upon them the importance of not taking away someone's constitutional right to speech. Let's talk to Gabe in North Carolina. Gabe, welcome. Oh, by the way, if you disagree with me, we're going to push you to the front of the line. So maybe you think this was a great thing that A&E did. And if you did, would love to hear why. Uh, uh, 866, uh, I'm sorry, 888, help me, Brent, 589-8840, uh, 589-8840, 888-589-8840. Okay, let's go to, uh, let's go to Gabe in North Carolina. Hi, Gabe. Thanks for your patience. Hey, Kevin, thanks for having me on. Hey, sure. man, I think that this whole thing is a setup. You know, anytime a, uh, a professed Christian has a platform in the public square, they always demonize them. They did it to Kirk Cameron. They, do it to Dan, they did it to Dan Cathy. They're doing it to Phil Robertson. 
They'll do it to anybody who professes a belief in Christ. They always do this, and they know what the answer is going to be. They knew he didn't agree with it before they yeah. even asked the question. It's to me, it's just a complete sham. It's a setup. Actually, when within minutes of uh, hearing about the story, I was in a conversation with Governor Mike Huckabee, and one of the things that uh, he, he his response was completely unbelievable. You may remember Governor Huckabee was the one that said, "Hey, let's go have a chicken sandwich," uh, and and just you don't even have to agree. Uh, the, you know, on the marriage issue. But if you if you just believe that a company, a corporation, shouldn't be punished because of the private view of its founder, uh, that that chokes out that chokes out freedom, that chokes out enterprise, that chokes out America. That's essentially what America is, and it's and it's beating it to death. Well, I, I the governor and I were talking, and um, I said, yeah, now we really see the game plan. You get a third party media personality, in this case, GQ. Uh, in the uh, Dan Cathy case, it was another media outlet, and you get them to ask a question, and, and they ask a question that's going to have an answer that they pretty much already know the answer to, and it's going to be something that's disfavorable to the uh, activists in the uh, sexual movement, right? So you get them on the record, then you then you uh, make that known, then you create a false uh, sense of crisis. I can't believe that this guy is on the air and he was allowed to say this. How can that be? And then you then you squelch them. Then you just pinch them. You, you turn them off. There's no way that they're going to be able to to come back and have a platform anymore. And that's why, if nothing else, friends, today you don't even have to agree with me from a biblical perspective or from any form of faith or anything. Uh, if you just believe that uh, that the Constitution means what the Constitution means, then you can't be playing these gotcha games and then use the answer to go say, okay, now we're going to punish the person that was asked to give his opinion. I still don't think he should be fired if he was standing in Times Square with signs coming off of each shoulder and saying whatever he wanted to say. I don't think that alone should be a criteria for why he loses his job. But when you're asked the question, you didn't initiate the conversation. When he, when you're asked the question, you're being asked for your opinion expressly. Are we living now in a day where we have to lie about what we feel? Is that the new America? Is that where we are? Land of the free, home of the brave. Just don't express it or you may lose your job. 888-589-8840. Um, if you, let me give you the phone numbers again. Jeep, the Jeep corporate headquarters, and Jeep is one of the major sponsors. 877-426-5337. 877-426-5337. And again, we're looking for winsome. We're looking for uh, uh, engaging. We're looking for people that uh, want to say, hey, we would like you to do this, and here's why. We're not looking for anger. We're not looking for uh, st- stone throwers. We're not looking for um, you know people that aren't looking to actually resolve the situation. We want them to understand that the people that share the same values as, as Phil Robertson actually outnumber any other group in America. We're still the biggest group, uh, and they need to understand that. And, and capitulating to a t- small, tiny band of angry bandits – isn't going to help them in the long haul. So the Jeep corporate office number is 877-426-5337. I would be interested in what they say when you call. Uh, the Walmart home office is 479-273-4000, 479-273-4000. The A&E offices themselves, uh, 212-210-9007, 212-210-9007. All right, back to your calls. Let's talk to... Um, Let's talk to Hannah calling from Texas next. Hi, Hannah. Welcome. You're on with Kevin McCullough. Glad you're here. Hannah, are you there? Yeah, Johanna from Rockwall, Texas. Oh, uh, Johanna. Okay, Johanna, go right ahead. Uh, yes, sir. I just wasn't sure if you were aware that when you go to support the Duck family, that if you buy the Duck Dynasty gifts for Christmas, etc., cetera, um, you're supporting A&E indirectly, but if you buy Duck Commander brand Duck right. products, it goes to the family directly. Yeah, and and that's something that uh, Walmart needs to pay attention to because uh, you know, and I'm hoping people are calling them today because this is uh, this w- this could have very adverse effect uh, on on the selling of the Duck gear uh, through there. But that's a good distinction a distinction to make, Hannah. Thank you. If you buy Duck Dynasty, that goes to A and E. If you buy Duck Commander, then that's going to go to the family themselves. By the way, uh, my friend Todd Starnes over at Fox News, he said, "Hey, why don't you pull out the camera? Wear something camo." On uh, on uh, to work tomorrow. Now I don't have any camo, but I remembered 
my friend Baldwin gave me this this uh, Yankees hat, and it's camouflage. So I'm wearing it today. I'm standing with Phil, wearing my camo. Uh, 888-589-8840. Let's go to uh, Scott in Mississippi. Hi, Scott. Welcome. You're on with Kevin McCullough. Hey, I just got a couple of comments on the thing. You know, sure. I think it, I think it was a loaded question. The du- the devil himself knows scripture. Okay, if he if they'd ask a question, you think it's a sin, and he said a no. Well, why don't you believe the Bible? And if he says yes, well, he couldn't win that away. And number two is, I think the people who I don't believe in beast, I, I think it's a sin also. But the other people he compared it to, why aren't they offended that the homosexuals think it's a sin? They compared. He said homosexuality, bestiality, and adulterers are sinners. Actually, actually, all he did, uh, Scott, was he went through uh, a, a range of behaviors that the biblical text addresses, and he said right. all of these things are that's sin. That's correct. That's right. And he, and didn't, he didn't highlight one and go, oh, that's the really right, bad right. sin. He just but, said they're all sin. But, you know, but they're the one that made the most racket and said, you know, uh, it's offensive that we call this a sin. So, are the, so they who call, think that they were offended – are they calling those other guys sinners? You know, uh, probably so. Probably <laughs> so, Scott. I appreciate your call. Thank you. Let's go to Terry in Arkansas. Terry, welcome. You're on with Kevin McCullough. Glad you're with us. Thank you for taking my call. Sure um, thing. I've never called before, but I wanted to, I, and I haven't heard anyone bring this up. But about it, last I'm an avid um, Robertson family watcher. Um, we have been about too. A, about a year ago, they had an episode that had an openly gay photographer, I think he was, um, and it was very obvious how the Robertsons felt, especially Mr. Robertson. I mean, there was no secret um, in that episode, but A&E didn't have a problem with showing that. Yeah, and actually, I think if you, I, I remember the episode you're discussing, Terry. Uh, if you watch that episode, you will see that yeah, there's a disagreement over over uh, behavior. But Phil doesn't do one thing untoward towards the the gay photographer. The the gay photographer comes out. He works with Miss K. They they set up the shoot. They shoot the pictures. Uh, he he thinks it's kind of funny. He's you know he's laughing to himself, whatever. But he he's not disrespectful and he's not unkind. Uh, he's just he's just a genuine guy uh, treating another person with dignity and respect. And 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 th- th- this is where we're at, friends. It, if you disagree, if you disagree with this little uh, chunk of elite decision makers, and a lot of them live right here in the two one two area code, I get that. Uh, that's why I'm a missionary to New York City. <laughs> we need some binge thinkers here. We got to obliterate the confusion, amplify truth, pursue clarity. That's the that's the solution to all this, right? That the society is invested billions of dollars a year invested in keeping you confused. Uh, we, we're we're investing our efforts to undo that, and it's a big uphill fight. I get that, uh, but we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna stay the course. Chuck in North Carolina, hi. You're next on uh, AFA Today and AFR Talk. Hi. Chuck, are you there? Hey, yeah, Kevin, this is Chuck, yeah, from North Carolina. I want to let you know, I did call both your numbers. Uh, the second one, I uh, did leave the, a message for the lady, and I let her know how atrocious that this is, that such a small population of the country. And I've done some research. I've looked at statistics uh, on, on not just gay and lesbian uh, numbers, but, you know, who votes for who and that kind of stuff. And, and it is a very small number, like you said. And I told them it was atrocious that we let that, or that they let that small number of people control you know, a, a whole network. Chuck, it's not even a good business decision because the, you're alienating. Uh, you're, you're the largest viewed primetime cable television show in the history of primetime cable. Okay, this is th- this is this is insane. You're you're ticking off the audience that has brought you the most success you will ever achieve as a cable network. You'll never, you'll never, you'll never hit that number again. You'll never have, you know, the number one uh, show. Or if you do, it'll be, you know, lightning striking. Once or twice in a, in a, in a career will that ever occur? At the most. And here you have this franchise that has an automatic audience built in. You know what they're about. You know it's their value system that's drawing that audience. You know 
that they were these kind of, in your own words as a network, kind of odd Bible-thumping people from uh, – from Louisiana to begin with, you knew that they had a value system. You knew that they cherished family. You knew that valuing family would be a marketing tool that you would use to exploit their story so that you could make a profit for the last four years. And now when that value system comes into conflict with a tiny little activist group, you, you just pull the plug. This is where I think the sons have to step up and say, if dad goes, we all go. I think that there's no other. And by the way, uh, the sons haven't done that yet. But uh, the granddaughter, Sadie, who um, is just the sweetest thing on the show, uh, she she uh, actually uh, tweeted last night because she could sense that the uh, the tension was growing and that everybody was uh, was uh, getting after it. She said, "Prayer is the best conversation of the day. It's better to go to God before taking it to someone else." Anyway, uh, good words. I want to end with this clip from Phil Robertson as we go out today. We all go six feet deep in the ground. The grave is a problem, so is sin. Jesus came down in flesh and saw both of them. So for me, my household, I just think that uh, we would all be better off if we loved God and loved each other. At the end of the day, you will be happy, happy, happy. My name is Phil Robertson. My name is Miss Kay. My name is Jet Robertson. My name is Reed Robertson, and I am second. See, in the South, we don't say second. We say second. Like it's a T on it. Second. You know what I'm saying? The views and opinions expressed in this broadcast do not necessarily reflect those of the American Family Association or American Family Radio.